Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we will talk about AWS ENI and what is our today agenda is like uh, what is the AWS ENI and what the real time use of ENI and how we can set up the AWS ENI and how we can attach and detach on a particular EC2 instance and deep details about the ENI and then we will uh, create one EC2 instance and on that EC2 instance how we can uh, set up the ENI and if without set up with that uh, custom ENI how it will be looks both the comparison also I will show you okay guys so let's first talk about what is the ENI ENI let me show you that in AWS document this is the document I will give this document link to this video description so that you guys can refer this it's a, a big document so just I will give the hi highlight details like uh, ENI is the like a, a network interface it's a logically network component in a VPC that represent a virtual network card and that can be con uh, include the following attribute like IPv4 address and IPv6 address public IP address elastic IP address and there could be some limitation also okay guys I will give this link to this video description you guys can have a look at but just keep in mind this is a virtual card which will in, uh, is a part of that VPC okay this is the main thing of this ENI okay guys and what the real life example if I have talk about like real life scenario like think you have one application that is running on app server one okay here and uh, one uh, client you have client have some automation code which is connecting to your app server one and this app server one have one private IP address okay by using that IP address this app server one is connecting okay now think due to some xyz reason this app server goes down and we, we now don't have any ENI okay now this app server goes down and then uh, again app server by auto scaling will create right then another new ENI will create for this app server and new IPv4 uh, private IP address will create for this right since it is creating new IP address for new ENI then what happened if this client automation try to communicate right then uh, that whatever request is coming that cannot be redirected to this app server why because now this client would uh, like have this app server private IP address right so that's the reason again if new app server is come right then uh, this this client side automation code whatever it is there then they has to change that new IP address to their code right whatever you would, uh, like either they are using HTTP or they are using girl command whatever they are using right in that they have to change their IP address so that's the drawback if you don't have your custom ENI right so that's the problem but whenever we are launching one EC2 instance right by default one ENI will create each and every time new ENI but if you would like to specify it, right, your custom ENI, then what happened if this app server goes down, then whatever ENI was attached to this particular app server, right, one, then what you can, this ENI you can attach to this app server two. Then automatically whatever request was coming to this uh, app server one, that will be redirected to app server two. That's the benefit. But here you no need to change any code in the client automation. So that's the advantage and that's the solution of this ENI. Okay, guys. So let's move on to the AWS console. So I will show you like how we can use it. So I have already logged in in AWS console. This is the Oregon region I have now. And let's go to the EC2. Recently I have visited the EC2. So that's why I, I am able to see here. So if you guys not able to see the EC2 here, right? Then you can search in the search bar EC2 here. Then it will come. Okay guys. So let's click on the EC2 here. So if you go to the left side menu right here we have one uh, section like network and security under the network and security we have the network interface so let's click on the network interface here so i don't have now any network interface here so let's create one network interface let's me give that some name demo okay and let's select the subnet here we have to select the subnet okay and then uh, private IP address like right? this is the IP address which will auto assign or if you would like to do some custom IP range or custom IP address then also you can select it. for this demo let's select the auto assign IP address and let's select the advanced settings here also let's keep everything as a default no need to change anything here okay guys and here one more option is the security group while we are creating ENI we have to select the security group so that while we are attaching to the EC2 instance or while we are creating the EC2 instance in that time we are selecting this ENI we no need to specify any security group there okay guys so let's select the security group if you not select it will it will not allow you to create let me show you that it will say please select at least one security group here we have to select okay guys so tag is optional I am not going to select anything so let's keep the name here demo 
how this is done now let's go to the instance section here i am not i am not running any instance here so let's launch one ec2 instance here with this custom game okay guys demo app one okay something like that app server one and let's select that linux one and let's select that t2 micro guys keep in mind this one if you are in free trials and you are for learning purpose you are using then this instance type always select the t2 micro which is free eligible that only just select it otherwise it will be charged for you okay guys and now keep here here right so keep here let's select that keep here here and this is the one place where the eni option will we have to select so how we can do go to the edit section and subnet you cannot select the subnet if you are going to use this eni why because if you select here subnet right suppose you are selecting some subnet here and you are going to uh, select the eni then what the problem will come like eni already have the subnet right and already have that ip address uh, assignment also there right so you cannot select that here this enable option also you cannot select and let's yeah, also you cannot select the security group also why because let, let me show you i am selecting this security group okay and let's go here and let's select our okay eni is okay why because because i have selected the different sub uh, this one subnet group so let's change to a then um, so that this also point keep in mind guys which sub, uh, like subnet uh, like availability zone your eni is there same availability zone you have to launch the ec2 instance otherwise you, you cannot suppose you are launching ec2 instance in availability zone 2b or a z x y z and you are trying to uh, uh, launch ec2 instance in the different uh, availability zone then it will not come just now i showed you right so it is uh, if you select here different availability zone suppose 2d then it, in this eni section that it will not come automatically okay guys so that point keep in mind now i have selected the and where i have that uh, eni let's select the eni now you can see that error is started coming you cannot select a security group here i have selected security group why because it will be conflict right because eni have already one security group and now we are uh, again selecting the security group then it will be the conflict right so that's why it is not allow you to select any security group that's the one thing and another thing is like you cannot enable this public and you have to disable this it will be generated and here the security group also you have to disable now we are good here let me show you that so i have selected my eni here and let's go everything as default let's keep everything default and let's just review quickly here what we have selected so now what we can do we can either launch one ec2 instance or you can launch two ec2 instance so let's keep one instance only now now instance launch is completed let me show you that so if you see here right so if you see here our eni is um, one public uh, and private ip address which our eni ip address that ip address is kept here let me show you that let's come here let's go to the ec2 and let's go to the eni and let's me show you that ip address of that eni what the ip address so 172.31.17.179 this is the private ip same ip address it is there in this ec2 instance let me show you that see this is the private ip address right same ip address it is there so now if i was talking about right, this client uh, will we use this ip address right and if this uh, suppose due to some xyz reason this uh, uh, instance goes down right now let me show you that without our eni let me show you how we can launch ec2 instance and there also one byte without eni okay let's come here let's select default as it is let's select this oregon let's select our security group let's just launch here okay so our instance is launched ready here so what we can do here is now let's go here and now it is pending state let me show you that here if you see here the private ip is different okay this is the a private ip of that particular eni here one more eni is launched if you see here this is the private ip of this eni guys okay, so if you see here 90 same ip address right and you can you once you terminate this ec2 instance you this eni also will get terminated but you can protect this uh, this uh, eni also if you do while you are terminating you, if you do if you like to don't terminate you can not terminate also then same uh, eni you can attach to next ec2 instance also okay guys so like this it will be there let me show you if i terminate this instance right let me show you 
now I terminated that without one, okay? And then this can also get terminated. And that you can prevent also that ENI. Then you what you can do the same ENI you have to attach to next uh, upcoming issue to instance. Okay guys. So let me show you that. And guys, one more thing keep in mind, there is some limitation based on what, of, what type of instance you are selecting and what region you are selecting, right? That ENI limit is there, like max, uh, I think I, now I am selecting T2 micro, right? So T2 micro have maximum 2 ENI you can keep, not more than that. So that kind of limitation is there, uh, per average zone, something like that. So I will give that this link to this uh, video description, you guys can refer this. So this is the table type, if you see like uh, here all these things details is there, okay guys? So you guys can uh, refer this document, okay? So now I terminated this instance. So let me show you that. Now go to the ENI section. Now ENI also terminated, okay? Now I was talking about, right? Suppose this instance goes down, then uh, what we can do? Now suppose this instance also goes down, then what we can do? Same, another instance will launch with this, this ENI only. Let me show you that. Terminating. Terminating. It's terminated, right? Now let's go to here. If you see here, our ENI is still there, right? This private IP will be keep same. Now what we can do? Again, by auto scaling or manually, if you launch one more EC2 instance, then what we can do here is like we can attach the same ENI to that again another EC2 instance. Let me show you that. Demo app 2. And same thing we same thing we have to do here also for app2 and let's select that network settings edit and then no subnet preference not disable this one and let's select existing one and go to this uh, we cannot select the security group here and so select this and here the option let's select this email okay and then focus the ic2 stance the new app server what is coming right? in this if you picture app server 2 the IP address is same here right now let's check that issue instance it is there running or not now app server 2 is came here if you go to here the private IP IP is same it's not get changed whatever IP was there app server 1 same IP is there here also now here since it is terminated that IP is uh, this detached also okay guys now Suppose we have launched one more EC2 instance, let me show you that without ENI, okay? Then how we can attach that? So that also I will show you. That I am giving and let's keep default everything. And here also keep everything default. Let's keep launch it, okay? And now go to the ENI section. And if you want to modify here, let's go detail attach here the attach option. If you go to ENI section, just select that ENI and go to the action. Here attach, detach, delete, manage IP address, if you would like to assign any other IP address also, you can assign new IP address also, or if you want to delete, unassign also, you can unassign also. Something like that you can also, your own IP address also you can give, or auto assign IP address also you can give. Okay guys, keep in mind, okay. So this is the one thing we can do, and another thing what we can do. Now you want to attach this. Uh, and one more guys keep in mind one ENI can be attached on EC2 instance since this is already attached right you cannot attach this again another EC2 instance let me show you that so it is the instance is running here so let me go to here and you can detach also if you detach then you can attach to another EC2 instance let me show you that so you detach go here what we can do let's create one more ENI here ENI assign and subnet and select that one A select the security group and create okay now this ENI uh, is not assigned any IP, any IP address right any instance okay so let's select this one and you can assign attach here attach option you can and here you can choose the instance which instance you want to assign okay guys you can select here and then attach but since the T2 micro has support to uh, this uh, attachment right? so that error message if you see that you can see right so let me show you again so let's click on attach you can do 
Let me show you that error message. If you select that EMT2 micro here, it's given that this selected instance type T2 micro does not support ENI Express. This point keep in mind. Okay, guys. So that's all we can attach, detach, manage IP address. This is the deep details about the ENI. So I hope this session will helpful to you guys. And if you feel this video is valuable to you guys, then I will request you guys please subscribe my channel, share with your friend. And if you have any doubt or any question or feedback, please put that to in this video comment section. I will address that in my next subsequent video. If you or if you need any specific section video, then please put that also. I will address that too also. Okay, guys. Hello. See you in my next video. Bye.